All right, I'm going to discuss how to get rid of this out of scope agency payable line in QuickBooks Online. I've had this on my personal balance sheet for a couple of years now. Uh, when it first showed up, uh, it was back in I believe 2021 when they started doing the sales tax stuff. And I tried to get rid of it by coming down to accounting, chart of accounts, and come out and find that, that account right down here, out of scope agency payable, and click inactive. And it says fail to inactivate some accounts, unable to make one account active. So I think in the past it explained that this relates to sales tax, but it didn't give like the specific reason on why we're not able to inactivate it and why it always appears on your balance sheet as zero. And so uh, what I've figured out is that this uh, is permanently attached to your balance sheet when you've indicated on any invoice in the past that it's subject to sales tax, but you haven't actually collected the sales tax. A couple of things we need to do to, to get rid of it. The first is we have to go back to our prior invoices and mark them as not subject to sales tax. This is, of course, assuming that they are not subject to sales tax. Um, and then the second thing is to uh, mark our line item services. So this is a service business. So you want to mark anything that you're, you're billing for as not subject to sales tax, assuming that you're not subject to sales tax. So to do the second one, we'll start there, we'll come up to sales, products and services. <clears throat> you can see there's a taxable column over here. And so my first thought, and maybe your first thought, was that this is relating to income tax. Is it taxable on your income statement? But this is actually referring to sales tax. And you can see that if you come over to edit, <clears throat> you come down here to the sales tax section, and so what we would want to do is we would want to click on this and click non-taxable and we'll save and close that and just a little side note it appears that when we come over and click edit it automatically shows taxable but we can see that it's currently selected to not taxable because uh, there's none of there's none of these uh, rows in this taxable column are checked Okay, so everything is turned off to non-taxable. So that makes sure that when we fill out an invoice going forward, it won't be marked as subject to sales tax by default. But then to get rid of that, we need to go back to the prior invoices and uncheck them as um, not subject to sales tax. So we'll do that by coming to sales, invoice, and we'll come down to a uh, random invoice. Of course, we want to do this for all of them. But this one here, you can see we have a tax column over here. And so this is the same thing. This is referring to sales tax, not income tax. And so if this is checked, we would have to edit this, and uncheck it, and, uh, and then save it again. And once you do that for all of the invoices, then when you go to the balance sheet, at least in my situation, when I went to the balance sheet, it had removed that out-of-scope agency payable. I'm going to leave a couple links in the video description. The first is to an article I wrote about six months back where we go into briefly what sales and use tax is and who is subject to paying sales and use tax and how this all works since the law changed in 2018. Uh, there's also have a link here somewhere right up here above this chart. And so these are probably going to change in the future. So um, this is a link to the QuickBooks uh, website where they have up-to-date rules. So you come down here and you click select a state. <clears throat> you would choose whatever state you want to know about, and it would tell you what the current law is around um, whether you're required to permit sales tax or not. Second link I'm going to have is to a help ticket here on QuickBooks that goes into a little more detail on how you can set up your QuickBooks to avoid sales tax if you're not subject to sales tax.